crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Have you ever wanted to curve your text that you cut out with your brother, Scan and Cut? Well, now you can. The Brother Canvas Workspace PC-based version has a new feature called Fit to Path. In this tutorial, I will show you how Fit to Path works. We will use it to fit text along a path and make it curve. I will show you how to change your font to select a different style, how to change the spacing between the letters of your font, and finally how to draw your own path. We'll be creating these three little projects that you see on the screen. Similar to these, I should say. The first thing you need to do is create the shape. Now, you're going to use any shape you want that, that you would like your text to curve along to, keeping in mind that the shape itself will not be cutting out, only the text because after you fit the text to the path, the shape will just become invisible. It's really just a guide. Let's select a half circle. You can resize the shape if you want by dragging the handles. Next, we're going to create some text. Okay, I type some text and it is using what's called the Cairo font, the same font I used for just keep swimming above. I'll show you how to change that in a minute. But one thing you might notice is that my font is black. It's filled with a color. I do that simply for the purpose of being able to see it better. Now, if you use the drawing tools, you can also use that fill to actually color in your text. But in this case, I'm just gonna color it in and fill it with black so I can see it better. So notice I just went up to the fill bucket, I selected black, now look how much easier it is to read. So the next step is to select both the text and the shape, which will become your path. You select both of them by using your mouse and drawing over those. Now that they're both selected, you can go up to Edit, Fit to Path. Notice it's not quite centered along the path, so in this case, you're going to take the handle and you're going to drag it and fit it along the path. Now I'm calling that a handle. I'm not sure what brother calls it, but that little plus sign is how you move your font along the path. Okay, so the next skill I'm going to teach you is we're going to change the font and we're going to do this again for reinforcement. We're gonna get a different kind of shape and we're gonna change the style of font. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. I put a circle on the screen. And now I'm going to select the text tool. And now I'm going to be able to change the text. So over here in the drop down menu, I'll just select this font called Bubblegum Sands. It's a nice, easy to cut out font. Now I'm going to type Little Mermaid. This will be nice on a onesie. It would be nice on a onesie for a baby. Put little little mermaid on there. Again, you don't need to fill it because it only cuts out the line anyway. It's just going to cut the outer line. But I like to fill it to be able to read it. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete some other things off the screen. Okay. 
just want to make room for our project here. So I'm going to put the Little Mermaid closer to the circle. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go up to Edit, Fit to Path. Okay, it's up down, it's upside down, you may notice. That's okay. We're going to use that little handle, the little plus, to move the text where we want it. Okay, so I hope that part was a review for you on how to take, how to create, you're going to create a shape, then you're going to create some text, and then you're going to select both the text and the shape and go up to Edit, Fit to Path. So let's add a new skill, and that is character spacing. We're going to put some more spacing between these letters so that it's just easier to read, I think, that way. It and it all depends on the font you, you're using as well. Just moving it to the middle of my mat for no reason. It just I like to work in the middle of the mat. You're going to go over to the properties panel again. That's the place where you've selected your text. And you're going to go to character spacing. I increase my character spacing to six, making, making it easier to read. Again, I need to go back and take that little handle and move it so my text is where I want it. And that is how to fit text to a path or curve your text. You can, you can do this to any shape. So let's create our own shape and we're going to do the project above where it says just keep swimming. I'm going to make the Little Mermaid smaller just to get it out of the way. So the next skill you're going to learn is how to use the freehand path tool. This is the freehand path tool. It's really good to have a mouse when you use this tool or a touch screen where you can draw onto your screen. I'm going to select the freehand path tool and then I'm going to draw myself a little wave along my screen. I'm going to just, when I'm done drawing, I just stop pushing on my mouse. In other words, I'm just going to click once on the screen, draw, and when I lift my mouse, I'm done drawing. So watch me draw a curve. Okay, so I think that looks sort of like a wave, so we're going to write just keep swimming inside of this path that we drew. Select the text, I'm now just changing the text. Okay, I'm changing it to a type of a font called Lobster. Okay, you don't have to, just is for fun. I typed just keep swimming. I'm going to fill it with black. And I'm going to make my text go along the path. Okay, I selected both objects and I said fit to path. Now I want to show you how to move this text along to a different part of the path. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to detach it. And I want to change it to another style of font because when I do work with script fonts, there's a lot more you need to do with those. So just stay tuned for my tutorials and, and I've done it in the past is 
when you work with script fonts where the letters touch each other, you need to do a bit of welding and things like that. So, and if you don't, you may have found out that even though it looked welded on your on your software, that it cut out as, as separate shapes. But let's just let's just suffice it to say that that's how to do it. Now I'm going to just show you how to move this along the path, and then we're going to just change it up. We're going to change the type of font and do this again. So is that fun or what? You may hear a little kitty. Um, I happen to be recording outside today because that was the only place I could get a signal. And so you may hear a little kitty meowing in the background. All right, so let's change some character spacing and then move. Move that again. Okay, you get the idea. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to detach this. So you want to take the text off of the path. This might be useful to do, say, if you have, maybe you're creating many of the same design, but they're going to say different text, like different people's names, but your path is going to stay the same. So you would detach the text, write a new name, attach it to the path, etc. So just keep in mind, this is a good thing to know from when you're mass producing your projects. Let's go up to edit, or layer, let's go up to layer. And you would hit release text from path. Okay, now I'm going to deselect, meaning I don't want to, right now the path and the text are still selected. Deselecting by clicking somewhere else. I just want to select the text only, just that text box, and I'm going to go ahead and change it. I'm just picking any font for now, just another font that works well. Yeah, there, that one works really well for just keep swimming. And then I'm going to go ahead and reattach it to the path. Okay, so you see how I detached it, I'm reattaching it. Okay, so you go up to edit to path. And again for review. Move it with the handle. You can change your character spacing if you want. And when you're all done, just to wrap this part of the lesson up, I just want to show you that you can transfer this to your scan and cut machine. Okay, so you can transfer this. Go up to File, and you're going to click on Transfer FCM File via the Internet. If you don't have your wireless set up, you can also transfer via the USB cable or via a, you know, a USB stick, thumb drive. There's other ways, but let's just use the wireless. It's easiest. Now it says the registered machine is ready to download the transferred file from the internet. And that's how you would then retrieve the file and cut it using using your scan and cut machine. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is this. I showed you the new feature, but you may be used to going to the Canvas workspace online, and I'm just going to show you how you would download this. All right, the first way to find the file that you need to download is if you happen to go to the canvasworkspace.brother.com, you go to the web-based version of Canvas Workspace, you're going to see this message. The PC version of Canvas Workspace has been upgraded. Okay, that's how I saw the message. And you just download it right there. That's the easiest way to download it. Click, click download, and then install it and run it. Maybe you saw something like this and you said, don't ask me again, and you're like, well, where is that message? Well, another way to download software from Brother is just to go to support.brother.com. and then go to product search search for your model of machine go to downloads
select your operating system, type of computer, etc. Say OK. And now this is the one you want. You want Canvas Workspace version 2.3.0 released on 128-2020. Click on that. As you can see, it's compatible with many models. As you can see, select you agree and it will start downloading. Okay, so that's how you get the software that I'm using right now. And then it's installed onto your PC. I apologize for all the rain now. I, like, I mentioned I was outside, so now you can hear rain. But this is the best I can do with where I had to find an internet signal today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Canvas Workspace for the PC to curve your text, also known as fitting your text to a path or using the fit to path feature. Okay, if you have any questions or comments about this feature, let me know below the video. Ask questions, feel free to comment, and please go out and use this on your projects because this is a game changer, folks. We can do so much more with our designs now that we have this new feature. So thank you, brother, for listening to our request for this feature and, and implementing, because I know a lot of us have suggested that they do this. That's all for now. This is the Paper Chef.